In this movie I would like to show you how can you improve your Omnigonic spinout from the, straight from the box. Uh, this is my spinout that I had for a long time so I made a lot of improvements to him. This is a spinout that I bought of someone so it is used but the only modification that the user has done was are those two Autobot logos. So as you can see both of them have different postures and I would like to show you how to achieve something like this. So this one as you can see is rather stiff. You can hold him by his chest like this and you can move him around, move his head. Right now my swivel is quite stiff but you can move him and he is standing pretty well let's position him uh, in case of this one uh, the legs uh, the most of the pictures show him with his legs like this and as you can see on this one I can also move them like this but this stance is more natural and you cannot do this because there are those two parts of plastic here so they are preventing you from doing that so the first thing you can do like on this one you see those bits are cut so you can use a nail clipper like this so just cut them away this one is no, it will fit but ideally you would use something like this I will use this because I have it but you can also use a nail clipper so something like this should be okay and just make the cut it's very minor what I'm cutting away but it's better to cut less and then make your adjustments than to cut too much so as you can see now he can make this wider stance and he is falling down like this and his wheels are falling off so th these are the most of the issues that there are with those figures but y your wheels or your knees might be stiff stiffer than this so this one his knees are quite stiff he, he is moving but he will not fall down just by posing him so another thing that you can do uh, is to those wheels uh, are uh, are being plugged in oh, sorry. so those wheels are, are plugged in like this and like, as you can see these those ones are stiff they can still roll but I would not advise it because uh, this one is rolling quite well but they are uh, actually on a on a screw here so by rolling you may undo the screw by rolling but as you can see right now the mechanism is is moving but the screw is solid so it it is possible for them to roll so you can add some glue on those two posts and just and just glue it them here so like this and and if you glue them on those two posts it should be better also those two joints as you can see are quite loose I will show you how to stiffen them using super glue but before I do that the biggest problem is this part here it is very hard to plug uh, some new uh, spin outs uh, this thing is working for one two tries but it's wearing out very fast so as you can see this one this is not a very good uh, connection so uh, I am offering the files free for this so but uh, because uh, the the print the 3d print of the file that fixes this uh, demands a very high accuracy so I am also selling them on eBay so you get this card here and those two parts and what you do is just move this part here just hold and twist it off this is one 
this is the second one and you just you should be able to use it by hand and you just twist this one off it may be stiff at first but it should go in with no problem uh, be careful uh, when you're putting it not to move this pin too far out because you may be moving the pin and not just uh, moving the the part may need some wiggling to get in all the way this way it will be stiff and the it will not fall out so okay it is now placed in and uh, how do you connect this you just using those posts grab this one grab this one and push this one went in a bit too low so you can adjust and now as you can see this connection is quite strong so this is one thing you can do and uh, from the start he has, has, a, has a lot better posture and one more thing that you can do this one has a different chest piece so as you can see here uh, this one I actually uh, I broke off the post but uh, that because I, w I am messing with this one a lot because I'm uh, trying to testing the new parts and stuff but as you can see this line is a lot smoother than on this because uh, one of the other parts that are uh, not well made is this part here this should go all the way here and there are two tabs that secure and they would grab on this yellow part that is that they are not present here and also it it cannot go this yellow part cannot go all the way so you can buy from shapeways this part this is actually done in plastic but uh, the way they are making it in a different material but the shape is the same so you can buy them off shapeways but if you do not want to spend your money on this you can do a cut here that would also help so I will do a, do that now it will be hard to show from this angle but I will open this so it will not be obstructing and just this part here needs to be cut so it's not sticking out that much so I will now th this plastic is should be okay for cutting so just by moving this sharp blade here I'm moving it down slightly and it's biting into the plastic as you can see this is the result so now this part is off as you can see this part is lower than this part so I will try to do this with the other side it's hard to show what's going on but as you can see I'm putting it here so there is room and slowly moving it down because I have to use a lot of force the whole thing is is being obstructed by this yellow part but as you can see the blade is in and I'm moving a little more come on and is it all the way in this is a close-up of the cut here see what's going on and it's more okay so it's uh, it's not just a bit more so it is flat it has to be flat for the whole thing to work okay so it is now flat and now this will allow you to position this in a better Boy, and there is still some part of plastic here that I need to cut it seems so just a bit more come on I think it's better now and this will allow you to position the chest better the whole figure has a much better stance and it's, it, it can be moved around much better so uh, if you are oh, this this also can be glued in this is a windshield wiper but if you are lucky to have this 
this will also can be removed you can either uh, cut this part or switch this will of course be better because it has those two parts here that will grab the the chest and secure it so uh, the way to remove this is as follows you have to unscrew those two screws which I will do now the second piece the second uh, sub stringer sun streaker will be going to a uh, hopefully to a reviewer a reviewer that I am a fan of so he may show you the whole figure after those uh, those modifications better than I am doing it now so this is the part that came off you have to keep this part and now you can move the legs here and the way to the best way to secure it would be to unscrew everything would be to there are actually few ways but as you can see those two screws it has to be unscrewed here so when when positioning it like this here you can unscrew this part it's rather tight here because there is not a lot of room but you should be able to to do it has to be unscrewed all the way should be okay now okay so this part is off the same with this you have to find an angle to to reach the screw the arm is sadly not helping okay The plastic bends a little, so you may be able to move it to a better angle. So as you can see, this this thing is almost off. You can maybe help by rotating the whole part. Come on. A bit more. Okay, so this is the part that we removed, and this is the part that we will be replacing it with. So they are very similar. The main difference is the this part here has this post, and it's slightly lower. Ju just the way that we modified it by cutting those two parts so sorry <laughs> so now uh, so the way it will work is now when you move the chest back it will sit on those two parts and those two parts will hook to those parts here and it will secure the whole chest section so so let's do it now um, just so I don't make a, a mistake, it should be like this. So let's perhaps start with this part here. It may be harder to screw it in because the screws have to bite into some plastic. But we will see. Oh, it's not that bad actually. Okay, so make sure it's in it's in all the way maybe more stiff and now the second part here oh, it's very easy actually not easy than I remember it to be but right now it's moving a bit okay it's okay it's in so now let's check if the part is okay it is okay 
it's moving right to the position and should lock and uh, now we need to put the legs here and this part will come over that part so like this and the screw should also bite into that plastic here the second part make sure it's pushed out the way yes you you have to make sure that it oh now it should be okay it is, it is pushed out the way so when turning the screw it goes into that plastic and you should feel the resistance like I am now and that way you will be sure that it is actually making the connection so okay it's almost in okay uh, this part is if this part is a wood wobble you can also tighten those two screws here and it's a lot more secure so right now uh, this will so right now this connection is very tight so you just have to uh, first let's position the chest in the correct place so like this this thing in the middle this part should go back and now when pushing this you just have to make sure that this goes under it may be tight at first but oh, like this That made it too tight. It's having a hard time getting in, but it may be that I am. Yes, it's okay. It's not. It. It. The, the things that I'm doing now are not that hard when you have them in hand. It's just that when doing this on camera, it's it's a lot harder. So now those two wheels can move in here the whole thing goes in and locks like this come on oh, so those that what's going on Something is wrong, wait. So now when you have this like this, those two wheels are here and this should go. So so now when you have this like here, this should go over here and in between like the wheels so that as you can see they are here and here but at my line okay now now it's correct kind of correct so uh, when you have that placed you just secure the chest again and you have a very secure chest here and it also looks very well from the side uh, this part of course can go in like this you can glue it in, but I usually don't. So, uh, one more tip. Uh, if you have trouble with the legs here, you can always push them like this. So, that they are very more secure. The, to the feet are more secure like this. Okay. There is one more fix that I will not be showing. It's the fix to the arms that allow you this movement to continue up. But I really don't mind and miss that part. The way uh, it's done, the me mechanism to move the hand up is inside. But the factory decided to omit some of the details. And that's why this thing is just abstracting the movement. So you just either 
open this and cut some plastic out uh, out of it or just the whole thing can be bought and and assembled uh, from shapeways so so uh, one more thing that I will show you how to stiffen those two parts uh, this can be done to most of the joints so uh, you will need some super glue but do that this on your own risk some people use um, some people use uh, nail polish but I use super glue so you just get some super glue here not a lot you can see it's wet with glue same here so is this part yes the on mine this part part is quite stiff but I will also maybe add a just a little bit inside because those parts are not really visible so I will not mind that okay so after you do this you will have to from time to time move everything so that this part is does not uh, dry and stick constantly Th your goal is to just add some add some friction to the joints so that when when it dries and you move it around there's there are some parts uh, left uh, in between those the, those plastic parts and this allows you to uh, to have more friction and be more more stiff and I done that with this one and the results are very good so I will now leave this uh, for drying uh, and we will come back later so probably uh, the lighting may be different because it may be a different time of the day so so thank you for watching and we will be back in a second so here's the figure after most of the fixes so he the joints are more stable he is able to sustain more poses and there is one more thing that I forgot to tell you that uh, this neck as you can see it's facing slightly forward so what you can do is just pop this thing here and rotate the whole assembly so this will allow you for the head to sit more uh, to the back so you can try and push this out with something like this so as you can see this metal part is now out and you can rotate the whole neck assembly so that the the, ro the rotation neck rotation is here but the head is further back the way it was before it was like this like this it's just a bit further back so now you just put this inside and push it into place it's not hard but you cannot see exactly on oh, there it is so make sure that this thing is sitting flat you can help yourself with some tool like I will probably push like this it's almost all the way I will help myself with tweezers so I will do something like this make sure that it's all the way in it's all the way in nothing is sticking out and now after this the head is sitting further back so you may look better so these are the things that you can do with your spin out to improve him out of the box uh, I w like I said those files will be offered free I uh, I was sending them uh, through email, but I will probably uh, make a link on Thingiverse and make them available uh, to everyone to for, to download. So uh, thanks again for watching this. I hope if you decide on this figure, you will be able to make him uh, the way you would like him to be. So thank you again and see you with my next projects.